Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel Software Tutorialer. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add pan and zoom onto your videos. Now a lot of you know how to add the pan and zoom onto your photos but I've had a lot of questions um, saying how do I add it onto my videos because there's no function to do it. Um, and the truth is that there is a function to do it but it's not in the same place as where you do it for your photos which is a little bit confusing but it, it, it is possible believe me. So I'm going to show you how to do it now um, and hopefully this is going to help you in the future and I probably won't get as many questions in the future as well saying how do you do it for my videos. So this is how you do it. You first of all load up your project if you haven't done so already and then you select the video which you want to add the pan and zoom to. Then you go on to FX which is the filters. Now I've added it to my favourites but it probably won't be there for you so you need to go down, press all and then you need to find it in here and on mine it's just here near the bottom um, so what you do is you left click on that you drag it onto the video which you want to add it to and then let go of left click you'll now see just here in the top left hand corner you might just be able to see that it says FX and that means that you've added an effect or a filter onto your video clip right so now what you want to do is you want to customize your video pan um, or zoom depending on what you're going to choose um, because it will have defaulted to something let's just see yeah it's not really doing much so we need to edit this so we're going to click on options make sure it's selected here and then press customize filter and you'll see that this is where you add the pan and zoom so we have a keyframe here and we have a keyframe here if you want to add a keyframe in between, which is where you would change the direction of the pan and the zoom, you would press this plus button here, which I'll show you how to do in a minute, um, and that will allow you to change the direction. So, we're going to start at the beginning. This box is what is in vision in your video, um, and you can change that with these corner boxes, which changes how far you're zooming in and out. So, we're going to choose to have all of this selected. So everything inside this box is visible. You're going to be able to see that when you play it back. And then we're going to move on by pressing play. And you can see very slowly it's moving up towards this white plus which is here. And that is the very last keyframe. So I'm just going to stop it there and I'm going to add a new keyframe. So I'm going to do that here. Press add. Add a keyframe. You can see it's added a new one there. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to here and I'm going to move that central to here. Now if I drag that back to the beginning and press play again you'll see that it's zooming in on this preview on the right you can see that it's zooming in from the first keyframe into the second keyframe. Now you can add as many keyframes as you want so there's no limit to what you can do here. There is a few more options down here as well and there's the anchors which is what will anchor the preview window here into a certain position on the screen so say you want to anchor it to the center it would center it and it would be anchored to there the same with all the others anchor to bottom right anchor to top left for example um, and then we've got the zoom ratio so if we look at this you can see how far it's zooming in so you can do that instead of changing the boxes here and then there is the transparency so you can adjust that and you can see that's making it more transparent so that is how you add video pan and zoom in Video Studio Pro X7 and for those of you who have asked me and I haven't replied then apologies um, I've just been waiting to make this video so I can show everyone at once instead of having to type a different message for everyone um, so there we go that is how you add video pan and zoom it is possible and I know that a lot of you thought it wasn't but it is that is how you do it in Video Studio um, and I'll be showing those of you who don't know how to do it for a photo in the next tutorial. So stay tuned for that um, and that will be up very shortly. So please stay tuned and if you haven't done so already then please feel free to hit the subscribe button.